stereo upgrade on a 1995 Land Cruiser Prado uh, KZJ78. So this is just the progress as I have the vehicle pretty much torn apart. So I took this panel off. <clears throat> These are JLW, I'm sorry, um, JL audio speakers, six and a half. So I had to make these brackets myself just out of the brown board and wires are already there just to kind of show you all the trims are off this is another six and a half <clears throat> now i did make a mistake cut out too big of a hole here so i ended up putting this uh, plexi glass right behind it to kind of secure it uh, the other one is already there and the speakers that i'm putting in this car are <clears throat> C2650X and four inch for the front. Now they were not easy to put them in, but I'll show you what I did. So these are the four inches. All right, let's go up front and show you everything. Now, while I'm at it, if you notice that your doors are making noise when you're opening them, just put some Tessa tape on it because electrical tape rub, rubs against the rubber seal, therefore it creates noise. So I went ahead and put Tessa tape on it and that sound is gone. All right, let's go out front. <clears throat> All right. So I have the entire dash torn apart. So the four inch speakers, as you can see, perfectly sitting there. Now that bracket that you see a little bolt that comes with the car. The one on the top, I had to make it. I'm not sure if you can see it. All right, probably not. All right, I forgot about it. Um, but besides that, a bunch of wiring harnesses I'm working through. All right, let's show you the other side. By the way, they're putting the 360 cameras as well. So I'll show you so far what I've done. <coughs> All right. So I ran the wire. So far. With the test of tape. So here's a plug, wrapped it all the way. Right across here. Probably can't see it underneath this uh, air box. Goes all the way there and onto the car. I zip tied very nicely. That little uh, rubber grommet is going to be there. So I just uh, poked it through that hole. So this is nicely all done. And while we add it, I'll show you the rear door as well. Ran a camera there too. So right here, there is a camera. So I drilled just two screws right into this metal bracket. And ran the wires. that hole right there tuck them in and this grommet is pain in the butt so once you get it out to put it back in so I use some uh, trim tools to pop it back in especially gets harder right at the bottom ran the wires with it and as you can see a little wire comes right there right there and goes all the way to the front as you can see it it's right there and let's see here let's go to the front all right as you can see i have the entire dash apart so in order to get this speaker out was not an easy job best thing to do is take the cluster out then you can just kind of put your hands in um 
get it out here and one screw at the bottom. So in order for me to put them, just uh, folded, the, folded these uh, little ears and just use one on the top. So this is a made up um, little brackets. I had them laying around. I don't know where they came from, but um, it's literally it's like this and like that. Just bend it, screw that right there. And then of course, bolt it on right there. Wiring is all right there. <clears throat> All right, so GPS antenna, haven't glued it down yet. It's right there. So I ran all the wires right behind. Tucked them right up top right there. And of course, pulled them out of there. So far I got, this is for the radio. 5G antenna, front camera. And you got GPS right there. This is for the rear camera. And <clears throat> so these are all TI's Android radio. So I got the 360 camera. Of course, the head unit and screen will stick out up to here. By the way, while we're on that subject, this trim is not large enough for one DIN. Because the trim goes on top and then, you know, of course, the, the deck player sits behind it. So I have to trim it a little bit to make it like this big. So the one den could fit. I can easily slide it in and take it out. And then, of course, the screen will stick right here up top. And here I'm just going to probably put like a storage bin. They are on eBay. You can get the OEM ones for 20 bucks or something like that. And I have to finagle around with the plates to make sure they're aligned right in the center. All right, besides that, so let's go over head unit. I did the speakers, uh, 360 cameras. Uh, let's see here, what else? I'm doing the tire pressure monitor system and I got the front sensors, which I'm going to put them in the back. I don't need them in the front. So I'll make a separate video for that. But uh, finding harnesses is the biggest pain in the behind for this car. You just cannot find this anywhere. Just not going to find it. However, I did go to AliExpress and then just typed in Toyota Land Cruiser 16 pin connector because it's 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm sorry, 14 pin connector. And I was able to find uh, for like 10 bucks, I bought like five of them, male and female. And the pictures that look, they appear to be uh, a little bit larger, but doesn't really matter. Once they come in, um, I'm gonna try to cut these off here and then just, since they are 16, I'm going to go wire by wire into each socket. But I'll make a video on that one too, when they come in. A uh, bunch of harnesses here, uh, they're all useless. Uh, I mean, you just can't find harnesses for this car, period. Also, this is a 1995, so this trim is different. It's not that black panel with the round, um, AC vents. Now that trim, you can easily find it if you break it. Um, I think it's like 30 bucks on eBay and uh, OEM, Toyota, you can find. However, trim for this, uh, you're not gonna find it. Toyota doesn't make it and it's very hard. Although I haven't broken mine just yet, but be very careful. Uh, if you break it, um, you're just gonna have very hard luck finding it. Luckily, I do have a friend in Japan who was on a hunt for one and uh, found one. And you're gonna buy it and ship it, and they're not cheap either. Probably 130 to 200 bucks just for that trim if you break it. So be really careful. All right, so this is kind of how it looks. A bunch of different wires. And by the way, I ran all the camera wires and everything all right behind in the corner here. And there's another. I think this is a 4G or 5G. By the way, I did get a 360 camera as well, as you can see. So I ran the wires. You can't tuck them in here uh, because of this rubber seal. So I just ran it pretty much all the way here. Uh, by the way, this is very hard. Your fingers are going to hurt. So use one of the, again, like a trim tool to kind of wedge them in like that. And I ran it all the way across. Here, I'll show you. That's the only place where it's exposed by the connector. But I ran it all the way nice and flush. 
And of course it comes right behind the dash and goes right into here. And that's what you see here for the for the front camera. So of course I have to tuck it back in. So that's what I've done so far. Today I am working on I'll drop this camera for the side view mirror 360 camera and I'll show you what I've done so far uh, all right so I did a hole right here so far uh, I put tape on it and uh, kind of measured it where I want wanted the hole so what I did was actually I lined the hole with this letter so I put tape across then I put one piece of tape here one piece of tape here to kind of keep the center and I did it right oh, man. right on the edge so camera doesn't sit too far in so when you adjust your mirror it doesn't touch the camera it's just uh, maybe here behind this this line and now you can see it's gonna sit pretty far back. So hopefully the mirror won't touch when you're tilting it. 